Our special guests this evening are Lorraine and Ricky from Deacon Blue. Welcome to uh, MTV and Thanks. thank you very much. Welcome to Australia. It's going wonderfully well. Are you having a good time? Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> We were called to them, we thought we were going to be, that was... Yeah, no one told us to bring jackets and scarves and gloves, you know. Oh, you know that we're on the other side of the yeah, world, Yeah, I know, but I've actually got a, a bottle of unopened suntan lotion. Oh, you did a good suntan. I did. <laughs> well, you're going to the States next, I think, so yeah. you'll be able to use yeah. it there. I hope so. Tell me, you've had a, a bit of a look at our music scene here. We know very little about what's happening in Glasgow. Glasgow. Mm -hmm. Tell us uh, how it differs over there. Well, I think um, there's, there's obviously lots of bands playing live here and there seems to be a very good live scene in every city we've been in in Australia. And the difference seems to be that in Glasgow there, there seems to be loads of, of young bands, of unsigned bands, as well as bands who have been signed to record companies. But there aren't as many venues. There are very, very few venues in Glasgow, which is really strange because there are so many bands coming out of there and so many bands fighting for, for gigs to play, you know. There's hardly anywhere to play, which is really stupid. Mm. We've just done this mm. trip to, to London and most of the acts that we interviewed there were either Irish or, or Scottish. I mean, mm. is there some sort of void in the English music scene yes. these days? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah. I think that's putting it fairly well. No, I, I think that... Um, <coughs> I mean, it, it's, it's one of the most common questions that we've ever asked, or, or statements. Oh, sorry that about that, we'll move right along. <laughs> no, 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 but I mean, the point is, I mean, it's universal. And people say all the time, you know, why is it we're all starting to Scottish or Irish groups? And you always try to come up with reasons for it. And, and they're probably, the reasons are very varied, but the fact of the matter is, it is very healthy there, both countries at the moment. Hmm. And uh, Scotland, it's, it's diversifying. I mean, one of the nice things about coming to Australia was our lies that it doesn't have the big music city. Uh, people say, oh, we live in Melbourne. Mm. The band that are out with us at the moment are a very good young band called Tall Stories. Where's the camera? Tall yeah. Stories. Yeah. Tall Stories. <laughs> and uh, they're from Adelaide. And, you know, it's like quite diverse over here. Mm. You've only been together a <coughs> relatively short space of time in the overall <laughs> scheme of things. It probably seems like a lot longer. But, I mean, already the album debuted at number one on the UK <coughs> charts. Just how hard was it to break out of Glasgow and sign an international record deal and, and get the record to that sort of stage? I think that, that, you know. I think you always, you always think the next bit is the hardest bit, and I think the, the bit that most bands come find very hard is getting that first breakthrough to get a record company to actually like you. Mm. And we certainly found that bit very hard, but probably it wasn't as hard as the actual going around and touring the yeah. first first year. After we made the, the first album, uh, we we toured and toured and worked very hard. We didn't our records were not played on the radio, um, and uh, for about a year that really went on like that. And then I think when we we actually got the point. Pardon me, of the new album selling a lot, I think we all felt, well, we've worked really hard for it, it didn't come, nothing sort of happened instantly, yeah. which was which was nice. It's strange talking to bands in Glasgow and at home who are sort of, the, their main aim in life is to get a record contract, you know, and you sometimes feel like, you know, God, you know, don't think that's, that's it, you know, it's like, yeah, I think they're going to be signed. And then, once you've, I mean, we've been there and I've thought all these thoughts as well, but you realise that that's just like, saying, okay, if you want to do it, you know, we'll enable you to work really hard mm. if you want this to be successful, you know. Yeah, if so you reach one plateau and you see another right, mountain. Yeah. And the awesome. thing is that every, unless, the well, point about being a band is if, unless you're enjoying it, you shouldn't be doing it. And if you come to a point where you think, well, this is just all hard work, then there really is no point being the band. Mm. I think if six of us, there are six of us in the band. They're um, all here in front of us. <laughs> I think if we all if we all thought that the, the next point was going to be just graft and no fun, then we would give up. And you just got to get a point where you you really enjoy what you're doing. And I mean, you know, who can complain? Them. Someone paid for our flights out to Australia, and we came out here. And never been here in my life before. Exactly. Well, it's because of the success of the record. We're going to play the song that uh, mm. broke you in Australia. This is a uh, real gone kid, Deacon Blue. Deacon Blue and a real gone kid, two members of Deacon Blue are our special guests this evening. Do you enjoy making videos? <laughs> no. Why nervous. not? Almost um, less than I like watching them. I think it must be the worst part of being in a band is the fact that obviously now in the market you, you have to have videos. Mm. I, I think we hate doing it because no one in the band thinks of themselves as, as having a you know, I've come into this business to, to make film, to make short films, you know, and make promo videos. We're in it to make music, and, and that's what we think we're good at. So we, I don't think we're particularly good at making videos either. It has it's to a be necessary said. evil, maybe. Yeah. It's music that matters, man, you know. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Well, if we were any good at doing them, it might be different, but... Well, I think Graham. Yeah. Graham's very good at it. Graham's very Only good. Only he was here tonight. Unfortunately, he couldn't fit on this. <laughs> well, it all seems to be working. I mean, you can't have, have too many complaints. For the record, I'd, I'd love you to tell us why name the band after a Steely Dan song. Oh, well, 
I actually really like the title. It had this kind of. Uh, I've told people loads of lies about this, and I, this is probably another one that I'll just make up. No, no, up. no. Give us, give us, <laughs> give us the truth. The truth. Come on. The truth is, um, that, well, the, the lie that I told people was it was inspired after the lyric because the lyric had a kind of ambience. That's a lie. And the lyric had a kind of desire for success and all this kind of stuff in it, and I we related. And we related to that. Uh, that's complete and utter. I've been telling every interview that. Uh, the truth was, I liked it. I liked the name, and I just I was walking up Tottenham Court Road in London one day, and I passed the Dominion Theatre, which I thought would be great to play the Dominion Theatre sometime, and see a bill poster with Deacon Blue. I thought, oh, that looks nice. I can imagine a blue poster, Deacon Blue. Well, there you go. <laughs> I so think the it, lyric it? lie was better. I think yeah. I like the lie. Yeah, yeah I like the lie. Can we can we stick with the myth? Keep the myth. Yeah. Listen, right. you're playing a few more shows in Australia. Um, have a look at the dates. You're playing Newcastle Workers. Um, the DIY of the venue, DIY Hotel in Sydney, then up to Brizzy, Transformers, good club that, you'll enjoy that, Cool yeah. and Gatter, and um, Brizzy again. Busy it's going to be warm there, is it? It'll be warmer than uh, <laughs> the other places you've been. So right, the suntan yeah. lotion will be out, will it? No, I'd, I'd save that till you get to the <laughs> stage. Listen, good luck over there, I know that the, so the world's biggest record market is still beckoning. Yeah. But, uh, still to be broken. Thank you for taking the time to come thanks down to us today. And uh, thanks to all the folk that came to see us in Australia as yeah, well. Yeah, thanks the, uh, a lot. Had a great time. Good on you. Lorraine and Ricky from uh, Deacon Blue, our special guest this evening. We've got more MTV right after this break.